There you go. Okay. Let's go ahead and call to order the City of Ocean Shores Library Board of Trustees meeting for Wednesday, August 9th, 2023. We're 15 minutes late. Thank you, Sarah, for resolving our technical difficulties. Approval of the meeting agenda. I have just one correction. I don't know if it matters, but I imagine I will be giving the library foundation report since I filled in for you. Uh, yes, I actually have that as a revision okay. on the reports that uh, Jenny, under reports number five, library foundation, Jenny will be giving the report since I was unable to uh, attend that meeting. Any other corrections to the agenda? Okay, well, well, approval for it. So moved. I second it. Okay, the agenda is approved. And a note that uh, Alex Suarez is uh, excused from this meeting. And Susan. And Susan, Susan Robinson. Both of them are unable to make it. Uh, public communication. But do we have any, Sarah? I didn't receive any written communication, and you have one citizen online. Okay, Susan, is the, do you have any public communication? No, thank you, Denise. Okay, well, let's go on to the approval of the minutes then. Any corrections? I didn't see any. Jenny, her eagle eye did not no. see any. I'm not sure my eagle eye is in focus anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, any corrections? Uh, then, then, back I'll move for approval. Okay. Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. And thanks again to Alex for her wonderful note taking and her uh, easy to read formatting. Keitha, library directors report so much going on at the library. It is exciting. I spoke on the radio this morning and it's just so fun to share all of our events and what we're doing. But I have to share with you this vintage, archaic piece of history for the Ocean Shores Public Library. Mm. This is the library cards they were giving out when I came 12 and a half years ago. <laughs> We received this last week. The lady oh, wow. came in and wanted to renew her card. And we were ecstatic with she we're getting, we have done at least 25 new renewals in just the past few days. I mean, mm -hmm. it's people are coming in like crazy. It's it's really wonderful. So I just wanted to share that with you. I'm not getting rid of it. I have to keep it. So and then the other, before I get to the coming up events, um, the other thing is I want to thank Jeff and Mary Jo, president of the Friends for supporting the library and presenting information to the attendees for the um, national night out that we participated in. I was there as well. It was nice. Jenny was there, but she was next door to us in the voter <laughs> booth, but she was there with us too. So anyway, it was very fun. Um, the hot dogs were great. The company was great. People showed up and the kids were playing and we got to watch the police chief dunked in the dunk tank. So thank you for supporting us and doing that. We'll plan on doing it again next Glad year. Glad to do it. Thank yeah, you. thank you, Jeff. And the high thoughts were great. Yeah, <laughs> they were. So what's coming up? August, August, August. We're almost halfway through August. We have tonight almost 15 people, 15 people, not almost, 15 people signed up for our very first creative writing workshop. And it's presented by a professor from the Grace Harbor Community College, Dr. Janelle Cope, who sounds just wonderful on the phone. And so she'll be here. We have karaoke coming next week. Again, that's just going to be two hours of so much fun. And remember, the theme for the summer reading program since June was Find Your Voice. So karaoke is Find Your Voice in Song. The book group is coming up on the 21st. A classic, The Glass Castle by Jeanette Walls is the one they will be discussing. 
And again, we always thank the friends of the library for the super support that they give us by buying 10 copies of each title. And then we check it out for two weeks. Dungeons and Dragons is on Fridays going quite well. Oh, and everybody loves watermelon, right? But the question is, do you guys put salt on your watermelon or not? Yes. <laughs> See, some people do, some people salt. don't. Ooh. We will have southern thing. I don't know. <laughs> is it? it well, be. it's this Friday. It's watermelon feed, again, supported by our wonderful friends at the library. It will be from 11 to 2. Nico is going to have games and a turtle button craft for the kids. Um, it'll be ongoing the whole um, three hours. And at one o'clock, Dr. Frank Park Maddock and Bill Seaman, a lot of you probably know both of them, they've been around town for quite a while, are going to do a fabulous music presentation against that's supported by the Friends of the Library. So, watermelon this Friday, the weather should be terrific from 11 to 2 with the music presentation at 1 o'clock. Then <laughs> Saturday, we have these adorable birdhouses, and they're on display right there in the kids' section, just past the window. They're cute little um, balsa wood birdhouses and bird flying mobiles that the um, kids ages 5 to 10 can come and decorate and make. And this is sponsored by the Garden by the Sea and the WSU Master Gardeners. And then, of course, we have story time. Michelle is having the finale. Summer's almost over, folks, for the teens. And the drawing for the adult um, bingo cards, that's this Friday also. Uh, Michelle's summer finale for the teens is from 6 to 8. All teens, grades 6 to 12, are invited. Um, but if you have been a teen participating and you've read over 500 pages, you win some of the awesome prizes donated by the businesses. And I mean, they're prizes you and I would want. But anyone's invited. And that's Friday from 6 to 8 at the library. And then the adult drawing for the bingo cards, again, sponsored by the Friends of the Library, is at 1 o'clock. And I wanted to mention that the Friends, I know we have a Friends report coming up, but the Friends book sale is September, so September 8th on Friday and September 9th on Saturday. And we have a very fun September program before I see you again called Kokidama. And I'm a master gardener. I would not know what Japanese Kokidama was. And they're moss balls, M-O-S-S, -S, moss. And we have two on display on the counter. Again, this is put up by the um, Garden by the Sea and the WSU Master Gardeners. So come and make a Kokidama ball. And there's a $10 charge for the equipment and a registration required. You can call the library and then pay when you come or stop in and pay. So if you want to make a poke on the ball and make great gifts, be sure and come. And unless there's any questions on my monthly report, it was pretty much business as usual. Uh, nothing different about the statistics. We are busy. It's going good. It's happy times. Unless you have questions, that's my report. Any questions for Kiva? Just an amazing summer, Kiva, here yeah. at the library. Uh, the number of programs, the number of attendees, uh, you know, especially for our children and uh, even for adults this year. Did everyone participate in the adult? I did not. <laughs> I that I did, but well, I'm ashamed. I did not get my bingo card completed. I got bingo in several ways, but I did not get all of them completed. So I feel like a failure. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I did tell Keith that one of the great things about the uh, adult summer reading was that it had you read genres that you normally did not do. And uh, for me, that was really kind of an eye opener. Um, myths, fantasy, science fiction, things that I, I usually don't read. So that's the purpose. That is the purpose, I know. And that is the purpose of the library to expand your, right. your knowledge and your enjoyment. Yeah. And we, our staff member, did a nice display of all the different categories on the bingo cards with books that fit those categories on the option on display here. So I forgot to show you when I was showing the old library cards. These are the new library cards, well, new 12 years ago. So 
they're a little bit prettier. Sorry, <laughs> much, much prettier. <laughs> I like the fact that we get that little thing to put on our keychain. Mm -hmm. The little so, card. Yeah, so I always have it with me, which is nice because I was always digging for my car, which wallet yep. was in there. Yep. Perfect. Okay. And thanks to all the staff too, Keitha. They're fabulous. They are fabulous. <clears throat> Moving on to old business, uh, the city council uh, presentation that we're continuing to do on the fourth Monday at 6 p.m. Uh, I'm on for August and we need someone for September 25th. I can do it. Okay, great. Thank you, Jeff. Uh, and I will connect with you, Kifa, on uh, topics to, to cover. Got it ready already. Uh, I'm not surprised about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, any new business? Okay, let's move on to reports. Did uh, Alex submit a Friends of the Library to make a report? She did not uh, submit one. Um, and I just say one thing. Absolutely. Um, I don't know whether this is under old business actually, but I just uh, just kind of popped into my head. Um, I've been monitoring the new uh, email mm -hmm. for our, our organization and we have gotten nothing. So I sent myself a fake one today because I thought maybe it's not working, but it went through. So anyway, just so you know, so far nobody's responded and I was going to ask you if next week you could um check it because I'm gonna be on the camera. Sure. Yep. Thank you. You've got the password, right? Yep. Yeah. I'm we sorry should, that I didn't that we should there. probably add that as a line item to the court and there any emails have been received. Yeah let's let's do that for oh, uh, next good. month that's a good idea. Yeah. Next yeah. month's yeah. agenda. And would it come under old business or new business? Oh uh, let's do it under reports. Under, under reports okay yeah. So it'd be email notifications. Okay. Be perfect. And then just put in the minutes too that Jeff's going to monitor it next week. Okay. Just have track. Thank in you. Fact, I checked it this morning. Thank you. Okay. Thank was you. The <laughs> Did you see my fake one? I, I deleted it, but. <laughs> uh, <no. laughs> Okay, well, uh, Jenny, you were at the last friends meeting too, weren't you? I was at the foundation meeting. I you was, were at the foundation I was meeting. was at Friends of Library. No. Okay, well, I guess I, I can uh, do a report since Alex is not here. And that's, uh, of course, the main thing is that the friends continue to support all of the, uh, the summer reading programs. And, well, all of the programs that the, the library is doing. And uh, we had a guest speaker. One of the things that they are, are doing, which um, is a wonderful way to connect with the community, is having uh, nonprofits come. And uh, last month it was pause. Mm -hmm. So to uh, hear about what they're doing, how they're uh, starting their capital campaign for a new place for doggies. Um, and then, of course, there's always questions from the, the, the audience, and the, the rest was really business as usual with the friends. And we did have a very successful uh, summer, um, 4th of July. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah, I don't remember the exact amount. Do you remember? About 700. Yeah. In a day and a half, not even two full days. They held it on two days, but just briefly each day. So it was very good. Yeah, and it was crazy busy. Mm -hmm. I, I worked one of the days and uh, having it on the weekend, on the, the weekend to the fourth, um, there were a lot of visitors. I mean, as well as people in town who were bringing visitors along. So, so that was nice to see. Always great to expand our clientele yes. to, to buy books. Okay, Jenny, Library Foundation report. Um, that was the first time I'd been to one of their meetings and it was very interesting. Um, thank you for filling in. They had, um, their speaker was, was Miles Longenbaugh, who is the ed 
at Edward Jones Investments, who I think handles the foundation's money. And so he gave a kind of an update. And one of the things was he said things were going better for the foundation's money in 23 than they had been in 22. So everybody was happy about that. Um, their, uh, as far as their matching grants as fundraisers, they're trying to educate people for matching funds by their employers, because sometimes people forget, even after they retire, that their employers might still match the funds, and they're putting a reminder on their website. They also made the comment that Seabrook Foundation does not include Ocean Shores anymore. I'm not sure why, but that's kind of figured out, I think. Um, they approved their bylaws. Um, they are going to stick with five members uh, as, as part of, of being members of the Library Foundation. Um, they're going to have new people on their bank signing process. And they're putting out a fact sheet for library advocacy. And there is going to be no meeting in August due to various things, including the fact that Keith will be on vacation. So the next meeting will be September 27th, which I told them they'd be happy to see my face again. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Janet. <laughs> They're very hardworking people. Oh my gosh, there's a lot going on in that group. <laughs> yeah, and uh, while we're talking to the foundation, uh, let's acknowledge the past president of the foundation, which is Allison. Okay. Uh, for all the work that she put in. Thank you. I enjoyed every second of it. Okay, Jenny again. Comments to council. What did you talk about? Um, I basically talked about, well, I think the most interesting thing, because I I find this kind of interesting, I talked about that there was a class on August 2nd, about drones and how they work and that people could even fly one. I, I think that was really interesting. And then the fact that we had a poet laureate here speaking. And so pretty much just about the August activities and Dungeons and Dragons and the watermelon party and the bird cages, bird houses and the bird mobiles. And I also talked about the library quilt display. I guess I didn't realize you had a different quilt every month. I'll see the quilt and I didn't, so that was interesting. Um, and then the computer class for that month. And then the, the um, story time continues and the summer reading programs continue for adults, teens, and children. Lots to cover. There was lots to cover, yes. Lots to cover and lots going on. Do we have anything else for the good of the, the order? Allison, is there anything you would like to add as our council liaison? Um, I just want to thank you guys for all the hard work you do. I you you make my report easy because you always give it for me, and I love that. Um, but just all the hard work you guys put in, and working with all the, with the friends and the foundation, and keeping everything so active. And I mean, I look at this, and it just amazes me all the stuff. Yeah that goes on here for kids and adults. And it's a huge, huge commitment from the staff here. And I just love this one here. They, um, I, I had to book a techie and, you know, and, and I have told other people who have said that. So just the services that you guys offer here, Kiva, is, is just amazing. And I know how much the, the homeschool group loves coming here and, just you give so much support to our the members of the community and, and I appreciate it as do they. Thank you. All right, our uh, next meeting date is September 13th, uh, 2023 at 10 a.m. Do I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, no protests, then we are adjourned. <laughs> Thank you all.